Hey, I just wanted to give a uh, brief introduction of how to install and get LaTeX going inside Ubuntu um, 6. Point, or 18.04, I think is the um, latest long-term support. Um, so just in case this is your first time trying to install LaTeX, these are my suggestions of how to get it going as easy as possible. Um, Ubuntu makes it um, really easy to get going really quick um, and also there's some other packages that will make your life a lot easier um, so hopefully this video will help you um, get that going so here's what I would do uh, first wherever yours is located mine's located on my bar here you want to find your Ubuntu software if you don't know where your Ubuntu software is Maybe you could press the meta key and you can see that I'm recording this. Um, but you could also just type in software here if you don't know where it is. Um, okay, then we want to search for something. Th now, this is only my suggestions. Other people might have other suggestions. This is mine. I think this is the easiest way to go. Um, so I'm going to type in MIK um, and I'm looking for Mic Tech here. Okay. So I see that we have Mic Tech Console. Um, now, on Windows, and I'm not sure about Mac, but on Windows, you can just simply go to their website and install Mic Tech. Um, here, we want to install the console. Okay, well, you can see that I've already installed it because you can see Launch here, and I don't want to remove it because I use it all the time. Um, so I'm going to just click launch you are going to click install if you don't already have it installed so now it's going to launch it okay it's telling me that it's ready so I'm going to use it okay well this is what the console looks like maybe I want to check for a, updates or maybe I don't since I'm recording the video um, but okay good thing is there's no updates okay or maybe there are some updates um, so here's what I do um, this is just going to take you to the terminal which I don't want to use at this moment right now what I want to use and this is the program you want to use this is the mic tech um, IDE for um, the law tech okay so let's press that okay so here it's just a text editor it's just as plain as can be um, so here is your text editor for mic tech now to be honest I only use this IDE, I only use this editor here um, to really just get my packages because what Mic Tech does is that it installs any packages that you might want to use. Now, if you search online, you're trying to make a graph, you're trying to show a function, maybe you want a particular font. Um, if you've used LaTeX at all, you know there's lots of documentation online. If you don't, go to um, just do a Google search, um, text exchange or a stack exchange, I guess, um, is a phenomenal website. People are asking questions all the time, and I steal code from there all the time, and I just edit it. Um, so it's a perfect place to go. Now, if you want, maybe you just prefer to just use that pro this program. It's fine with me. So you can open your, um, you can open any document you want to use. I'm going to use, I want to show you something I did for a class. So I'm going to show you Intro to Algebra here. Uh, Intro to Algebra is a, not quite a book, um, but it's a huge document that I've written for my introductory to algebra courses. And I've had to use all kinds of packages, all kinds of packages here. Um, some of them, honestly, maybe I uh, used them for a while. Maybe I'm not using them now. I don't think I'm using this images packages at the moment. But there's all kinds here. What Mic Tech does is that if it sees that you're using a package that it doesn't already have installed, what it's going to do is it's going to install it for you. So this way you don't have to spend your whole life searching and figuring out how to install those particular packages because chances are if you're at this stage you're just trying to get some work done you're not trying to um, update your system 
or at least that's where I'm at. So um, I think we can see here, but let's go ahead and we can press this play button. And what it's going to do is it's going to um, it's going to see is there anything I don't know? Is there any packages that I need? Um, it's going to install those packages if it needs it, and it's compiling all of this. Um, code that I've written. Hopefully I won't get any errors. It does look like it's downloading something called Litsum. Um, so there must have been something since I've reinstalled this that it's installing now. So you get the full effect. Okay. So here's my begin document, my title, um, and um, yes. So this is a very, very long document that I have written. Here you can see on my tech that it gives you a preview is slightly bigger than I want it. Okay, here we go. So here you can see the title and table of contents and I've got all kinds of information here. Um, so I like this graph. I think it did a good job here. Um, I probably don't need to sell you on LaTeX itself um, but yeah, uh, very useful. So yeah, I must not have compiled that for a while because that was still compiling. So uh, my suggestion to you is to use my tech um, at least at this stage to help you download um, certain packages. This is how I primarily use it. I don't actually use it to um, write out my code here. Um, I don't find it to be the most optimal um, text editor in my opinion however it serves its purpose um, in that way uh, sometimes when I'm at work um, w we have restrictions on what programs we can download and I will actually just edit it straight from this IDE here but um, primarily what I do when I'm on my own system is I prefer to use the Vim text editor um, so maybe what I'll do here is um, let's see. Um, sorry, what is that? Okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, what I like to do is I like to use the Vim text editor. Um, so I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to say, Vim, would you be nice enough to open the intro algebra dot text file that I've written here? And um, yeah, so. Um, I don't know if you're a Vim user um, you're probably going to be a Vim user in the future and once you get used to um, all of the short keys and stuff you start to realize that it can really really help you um, with being productive very quickly um, there is a bit of a learning curve with Vim um, there's a bit of a learning curve with LaTeX um, but once you get these things, you got it. Um, so this video is really just to show you how to update these packages, <coughs> um, not necessarily how to um, write a LaTeX document. Uh, maybe I should do a video like that in the future. Um, but yes, this is mostly what I think the most efficient way, or at least the most efficient way I have found so far, to install those packages and get some work done on my Ubuntu system. So I hope that this video is somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please post them on the contents. I sound like a YouTuber now. If I'm going to sound like a YouTuber, don't forget to smash that like button. Okay. Um, no, just kidding. You don't have to smash that like button. But um, if you do have questions or if you think I could be more helpful, let me know because that was the point of this video. So. Hopefully you have a good day and hopefully this has saved someone some headaches in the future. Okay? Good.